Introducing first, fighting to my left out of, of the blue corner. He comes in standing five feet seven inches tall, weighing in officially at 174 pounds. His record includes 29 wins, 17 losses, and one draw. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Sean Doomsday Howard. And across the Eagle FC Steel, his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, he stands in at six feet even, weighing in officially at 174 pounds. He enters the cage undefeated, nine bouts, nine victories. Joining us from Mahachkala, Dagestan, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fast rising Ramazan Kuromagomedov. And your referee in charge is Alan A. Belize. Cyrus, tell me the story of the Contender Series. I did not know that till you just said it. So I think I'm there. Ramazan tried out. He won his match. He was not selected. Am I close? No, you're 100%. He gets the split decision win over Jordan Williams. He doesn't get the nod, and I feel like he felt very offended by it. Straight up, period. We talked to him in the fighter meeting, and, I mean, it, the proof is in the pudding. Three straight wins. He finishes. Here comes John Doomsday Howard, and he's got finishing on his mind. Technician versus the brawler. That's how I say Howard didn't like when I told, called him a brawler, but I meant it as a, <laughs> I meant it as a compliment. <laughs> One of the most memorable guys, man, in his era, 100%, Henry. But, but he's going to have a hard time dealing with this, this single leg right here because Ramazan is not giving up on it. And you see he finally got the takedown. Ramazan was stubborn there, wasn't he, champ? He got there. He got control of that hip. He kept the good head position, drove him in the fence, finished the takedown. It's good. If you notice, too, everybody's starting to go underneath the chin, like off of takedowns. You know, we, we saw Castro just do it. We saw Howard kind of starting to connect. So fighters are going to start to be a little more cautious and careful with people, uh, you know, with when you shoot and people are starting to dig in that, that arm. And he wants his BJJ to be respected, right? That's something he kind of echoed in the fighter meeting is because, like, listen, everybody knows I can brawl, but I can also get it done on the ground as well. Yeah, Ramazan is a fighter that he's just dedicated. Like, these guys dedicate their lives to fighting. I'm a fighter, but I don't necessarily dead like th like this guy is his his eats, sleeps, and breathes. Yes, right? yes. Anybody that has to, that comes from Mahachkala, Dagestan, <laughs> these dudes are these dudes are just different. I get the point you're making, by the way, when you talk about these geographic locations. We're up here with three wrestlers and, of course, a big fan in Cyrus. And we know when we draw those Russians out of her, we know we are in for a different kind of a night. Why well, I, I don't like that you just dismissed me. I did have one year of wrestling my senior year <laughs> of high school. It, but it wasn't in Mahashka, Russia, I don't believe, was it, Cyrus? But it was Iowa. I get oh, Iowa hey. cred, oh, right? Then okay. I do, then I okay. apologize. I, I do apologize. I was horrible. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Kuramagamena, though, is not horrible, and he is putting the weight on John Howard, who had that resurgence in his career when he made the jump over to PFL, and a lot of folks maybe didn't think he deserved to be in that tournament, in that season, and he really surprised a lot of folks and yeah, no, proved no, that he was still very relevant. No, if you notice, Cyrus, what he's doing is he's he's doing exactly what Khabib does, is what I'm telling you. He's laying on that leg. He's sitting on that butt. Like, he's, he's able to hook that leg and control. He's finding wrist, and he's using that free arm to strike. I mean, these, th th this isn't just a ground and pound situation. Like, Howard's going to have a really hard time to get the hell out of there. Yeah, I mean, and you can see. The one, I actually had the pleasure of training with uh, with Ramazan, Kuromagomedov. And the one thing about these guys is that they know positions. They know how to get into positions, lock you down in those positions, and then start to pick you apart like he's done here. John Howard has no answer for it. Look at that, getting that bottom leg out. He's, he was locking it down for a while, and Jen just going to work with that left hand. Howard is doing actually a lot of things right, guys. He's just a step behind. Ramazan is just one step in front. I'm seeing Howard doing a good job. I'd like to see him use his left hand, get wrist control. I think it would help with this stand-up. All is not lost here for Howard, but he is reacting as opposed to creating the action. Slowly picking away here at the veteran John Howard is Ramazan Kuramagomedov. Three subs in a row in his last three fights. Can he make it happen once again? This time here in Eagle FC. We're at the FlexCast Arena here in Miami, live and free on the FlexCast app. Henry really putting the pressure on him right here, just slowly he is, he is. picking away at him, not doing a whole lot of damage 
but uh, just trying to slowly wear out. And, yeah, and what, exactly what happens. These are the things that fans and people don't see. What he's doing is he's investing in pressure. He's picking up his weight. Oh. Beautiful knee bar. Howard talked about it. He's got to take a chance. Yeah, he said, look, I've got my black belt in jiu-jitsu. I mean, I realize that didn't land, but that's also a technique. If you threw the tape back uh, five years, Howard never would have tried a rolling What did bar. he have to lose, though? Sure. Right? He had nothing to lose. He's in the same spot. He took a chance. This is why sometimes I feel like, you know, in fighting, you almost have to cancel out, like, playing the jiu-jitsu game a little bit. It's better to get up, especially because... If you stay down there, you're eating more of the clock, and the judges are going to swing more of that other way. Even though, you know, uh, Kermega Medov is winning, and obviously, but he should have been trying to get up instead of starting looking for certain situations like knee bars. Absolutely. The one thing is you don't want to stay engaged in the grappling position because he's in complete control. He's able to bring you back down. He's able to hold you here if he wants for the rest of the round, and he's able to just do damage or at least wear you out. So I think... Yeah, that, that move there, that good that dive right there was beautiful technique, but you have to use that to get back to your feet where you feel that you have the chance to be able to end this fight. Ramazan by Ramazan there. R Ramazan is annoying. There, there is no part here where he's not bothering you. He's down on your legs, he's controlling the wrist, he's slapping your head, he's bothering and you he's that entire five minutes. But step one, guys, I want to repeat, stay off the fence. If he gets pushed into the fence, that's the beginning of the problems. I'm actually, I'm, I actually think a little different there. I really do want to see Ramazan put on a show. Absolutely. You know, I, I think he, I think he has the skills. That I think uh, if, if he's gonna get on top, I really want to punish him and get him out of there. But if not, I think it's, I think it's important for him to, to be comfortable on his feet because you're not, when you, when you get to the little higher levels, you're, you're not gonna be able to take those people down. So Ooh, it's an investment. He's gonna feel that one. When Howard lands, he lands hard. How long it sell? We see Ramazan dropping down and bringing this thing back into his territory. He doesn't really have to. Ramazan's got the skills. I mean, his stand-up is crisp from either stance. And he's in his, you saw that he was all in the southpaw stance, but he's, he's even better in orthodox stance. So he doesn't have to go to this wrestling. He's just choosing to go here. Yeah. I would actually like to see him keep the fight standing. Because he's shown that he can grapple. You want to get to that next level. You want to get to the UFC and show him something that, hey, I belong there. I can beat some of the best guys in the world. And you got to show them something. You, you got to put it. on the show. Yep. And, and he said specifically to us that he wants to be the king of Eagle FC. That is the mission operating right now is to be tops in Eagle FC. And there's a lot of talent in this organization. Yeah, there is. And, and that's, I tell you what, this guy, he, if you think you're the Nigerian nightmare with that talker show that he's getting people down, like this fight's going to, he's, he, he's going to carry this whole fight pretty much on top. And he's doing a heck of a good job. I just feel like I want to see a little more elbows on him. I want to see a little more so heavy thumps rather than just a valent because there's a lot of time and you want to hurt him to invest. I mean, the key is to put on a show. Look, look to do that, Henry, I'm talking about your ground and pound reference here, but to do that, he's going to have to get his head up. When, you, when your head is touching your opponent, you're not going to have those powerful shots. He needs to posture up, use his hips, trust in his position. But if that head is on the body of his opponent, these shots are not going to finish this contest. As they say, one-way traffic here for Ramazan Kuramagomedov looking to go to 10-0 tonight in Miami. Looking to make an impression here and kind of declare himself tops of this division. Okay, Cyrus, Ramazan actually just transitioned to a lockdown here. He, he's trapping that leg. Dunde is not going to be able to move. Again, these shots aren't going to finish, but this is very Khabib-esque. Khabib 101, drag him down, lock him down. Exactly, that, and that's what they do, Cho. I mean, they're not just, what makes them successful on top is the fact that their legs are active too. Their legs become them hands. They're constantly sweeping, they're grabbing, they're sitting on you but they're, they're attacking you like a spider from every angle. I have never been taught that. 23 years in an MMA room, I have never seen that technique. I've only seen it when I saw Khabib do it in live competition and now his students. But the one thing, though, that he's not doing that just kind of sets him apart from Khabib is he's got his head down. When your head's down, it's very hard for you to land a damaging strike. You've got to be able to posture up and then let a shot rain down. And so he's keeping his head down. Yes, he's controlling the position 100%, but is he doing damage? 
while he's on top. And I tell you what, Chad, to answer your question, but I will get you a Southway ticket, Southwest ticket from Oregon to Phoenix, and I will teach you all that. The Olympic champ, the flyweight champ, wow, the and invitation. the bantamweight champ. I'm going to take you up on that. And, and by the way, you are getting some real accolades as a coach. I believe you got your second world champion now with Figueredo. Congrats on that. You do get that, that praise from me. But I'm humbled. I didn't bring it up, Chad. You see? You see? <laughs> we, we, we know you're thinking it, bro. <laughs> we know you're thinking it. A Southwest ticket was my favorite part of that whole that whole routine. I mean, not you even just first did. class. Right, right. Come on, Henry. Not even first and class. I'll put him on Southwest. <laughs> put him on Spirit, you baby. Know, I got I, I got I got to buy formula now. You know what I mean, uh, Uncle Charlie? <laughs> Well, I hear Prohaska is not coming out now. That that's fight. No, that's Rachik's fight. Prohaska is coming out to join you. Is that right, Henry? Prohaska's he is. Gonna he come is. He's coming out. Wow. He's gonna, is this? he's gonna be coming out on Monday. It's right here. Then I just that IQ man. What Turn is and face this? him. Turn and face him, John. You gotta pummel in now. John Howard's gotta pummel in. He's yeah, gotta he's break gotta this dig lock. That yeah, you can't stay there in that position with the, with the body lock around your body like that. And if I can say something on Howard, because I don't want to pick on him too much, but this is this all goes back to the training. If you cannot get off on bottom during training with your training partner, then there's something wrong because right now it's being displayed right now. Everybody wants to hit pads. Everybody wants to strike. But really, when you, when you go up against the elite, elite, someone's getting on top of you. Can you get out? Can you bring it to your feet? John Howard still in this fight has been taking some damage. But you can see it in his face shell, still very much in this one. You've got to be able to pummel inside there, because if you don't, you're going to end up on your back like he did in that position. Here we go, third and final round. John Howard yeah, looking got, to capitalize. That's exactly how he has to fight. He's got to go for broke. He's got to go for broke. He's got to take risks. Now, Ramzan's got to keep the fight here. He's got to be able to Tomorrow, I know this is what you want to see, right? You yeah. want to see a knockout. You want to see him TKO. Because he's so good. He's got the skills to be able to do it. He's got to keep the fight here and show us something different that he, that he hasn't shown. Look at that. No, oh, right on cue. Ramzan keeping his distance, using that stiff jab. And circling. Oh, beautiful knee. But I think you play right into a possible win by John Howard standing. It's what he has. Yeah, you keep bouncing around uh, just like that. You popping that jab in his face. You throw a kick, a low kick here and there. But you still got to show him those level changes because you can't keep a guy like John Howard at bay if you don't show him those level changes. Oh, and down goes Howard. Boy, you called it. Kamaru, the stand-up, no joke. You are here in Kamaru Usman, you are here in Chael Sonnen and Henry Cejudo. Is it the most legendary commentary team ever assembled? I dare say that it is. Definitely the most competitive. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Doomsday, I'm really proud of him, guys. He, he's overcoming adversity. He knows what he's got to do. He's putting the pressure on. And Ramazan also, I must give him credit. He's showing a different style here. But can, can I ask him to do those, Joe? Because I feel like he needs to... Uh, I always want people to get better. And maybe there's a reason why he wasn't chosen off of the contenders. You know what I mean? Like, you, you got to go out there. You got to display something. And I know the talent that he has. I've heard it from Ali Abdulaziz. I heard it from Kamara Usman. He's going to have to step it up. I would like to have a conversation with him. I mean, family. look at the stats right there. I mean, you see it from CompuBox. It's all Ramazan on the standing and on the ground. I mean, you can't put together too much better of a performance outside of a finish, which is what he has been doing. Can he keep that going? I think that is firmly in his mind. He doesn't want to go the distance here. He wants to let everybody know that he can be top dog at this organization. It works, but he like, I agree with Henry. He's got to be able to let go. And I know because I was in this situation. I was in this position to where I came into the, the dance with one skill, and that's my wrestling. So that was the way that I was able to at least win these fights, overcome some of these fights. But eventually, I had, to, I had to realize that in order for you to be the champion, to be the best in the world, you had to learn all the other skills, and you had to but, have I, I, but yeah, courage. But, but can I stop you, you there, have to have the courage. I don't think that's, that's exactly what it is. You had to have the is. courage exactly to go out there and display it. And it took me some time. 
But once I decided, you know what, I am going to stay here and I am going to implement this game plan of standing here and finding the shot. And, and once I did that, things change. And Champ, more specifically, because I did watch you go through this weekend, notice the head position of Ramazan. It's on the body. No, he needs to get that head up, get the hips, replace the head with the hips, sit up, and that's where the power comes from. And I did watch you change that in your career. That's true. I did after a, a lot of talking to, like Henry just said, he, a few people have that talk with me, and I had to change. I had to change. <laughs> no, I know. I've seen this guy drop. You know, I've seen the hit pass. I'm like, Jesus, this dude's the second coming of whatever. And and then we see him fighting. Yeah, he's dominant. He's he's gonna win. He's winning. But Ramazan, you're gonna go up against guys that are gonna really push the pace that you're really not gonna be able to take down. And I really want to see what you're gonna be worth here at you guys that aren't. 41 years old, man. I mean, let's just get, get where I would say. Sorry, 38 years old. I mean, you're absolutely right. But Ramazan has put together a nice strategy, working beautifully, and a W is a W. And right now he is on his way to win number 10, a milestone in his career. But we have seen wilder things happen in the sport of mixed martial arts. So. Stay tuned. Yeah, he's got complete control right now, but John Howard's not. You can't count him out. A guy as dangerous as Doomsday Howard, he could change this fight with one shot. That's it. He, we, we all know that. So, and he's and he's doing a good job here. He's fighting the hands. He's staying. He's staying on the inside, and he's upright, which is better than him being on his back, taking shots. But he's all tied up. We're being very critical of Ramazan. Not from a negative standpoint, we're seeing a real potential here. There's a couple of things, if he listens, he can improve from. I want to make that clear for anyone that's tuning in. So there it is. What a fight they go all. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone three rounds inside the Eagle FC Steel, we go to the scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 30-27, and 30-26 for your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated Ramazan Kuromagomedov. Well, no surprise there. Big win by Ramazan. He's standing by.